the eighth day of September. On this day, we celebrate the nativity of our Sovereign Lady, the Most Holy Mother of God and Ever-Virgin Mary. Man was made by God and placed in Paradise, that his sole care might be to bring forth good fruit and to contemplate God his Creator through his works. But Adam was driven out of the Garden of Delights through the envy of the devil, who deceived Eve, the first woman, and caused Adam to sin. Later God gave the law to men by Moses, and made known his will by the prophets, in preparation for the greater blessing of the incarnation of his only Son, the Word of God, who would deliver us from the nets of the evil one. In taking our nature upon himself, Christ wished to share fully our fallen state, but without sin, for he alone is without sin, being the Son of God. For this reason he prepared for himself a spotless habitation, an immaculate ark, the most holy Virgin Mary, who, although she too was subject to death and the condemnation of our first parents, yet she was chosen by God before all ages to be the new Eve, the mother of Christ the Saviour, the wellspring of our redemption, and the archetype of all Christian holiness. On her father's side, the Most Holy Virgin Mary was of the royal line of David through his son Nathan, who begot Levi, who begot Melchi and Panther, who begot Bar Panther, who begot Joachim, who was the father of the Mother of God. Anna, the wife of Joachim, was also of David's lineage, for she was the granddaughter of Martha, who was himself the grandson of David through Solomon. Martha married a certain Mary of the tribe of Judah, and they had a son named Jacob, the father of Joseph the carpenter, and three daughters, Mary, Sophia, and Anna. Mary gave birth to Salome the midwife, Sophia to Elizabeth the mother of the forerunner, and Anna to the mother of God. God in his wisdom showed the barrenness of human nature before the coming of Christ by leaving Joachim and Anna childless until they were very old. Joachim, who was both rich and devout, prayed without ceasing and offered gifts to God that he would deliver his wife and himself from the reproach among men. One feast day he had gone to the temple to present his offering when one of the congregation of the tribe of Reuben turned to him and said, You are not allowed to offer with us because you have no child. These words cut Joachim to the heart and instead of returning home he went up into a mountain alone to pray and weep well, at the same hour, Anna too was shedding abundant tears and fervently imploring heaven. Our God, who is rich in mercy and full of compassion, heard their entreaties and sent the messenger of his benevolence and herald of our salvation, the archangel Gabriel, to Anna. He announced that she would conceive in her old age and bear a child who would be the praise of the whole earth. Full of joy and amazement, she exclaimed, as the Lord my God lives, whether the child I bear be a son or a daughter, I will consecrate it to the Lord my God to serve him all the days of her life. Joachim too was visited by an angel and told to lead his flocks homeward and to rejoice with his wife and all their house because God had determined to put an end to their reproach. When nine months had passed, Anna gave birth and asked the midwife, Whom have I brought into the world? A daughter, she replied. My soul has been magnified this day, exclaimed Anna, and gently laid the child down. And when the days of her purification according to the law were accomplished, she arose, washed, gave suck to the child, and called her Mary, the name obscurely awaited by the patriarchs, the prophets, and the righteous, and by which God would reveal the mystery hidden from all eternity. The child grew strong, and her mother placed her on the ground when she was six months old, to see if she would stand up. Confidently, Mary took seven paces and then turned back and clung to her mother's breast. Anna lifted her up, saying, As the Lord my God lives, you shall tread on the ground no more until I take you into the temple of the Lord. Her mother kept the room where the child was as a holy place, and no unlovely or unclean thing entered there, and she brought daughters of the Hebrews of pure lineage to play with the child. When the child was one year old, Joachim gave a great feast. He invited the priests, the scribes, and all the council and people of Israel. He presented Mary to the priests, and they blessed her, saying, 
God of our fathers, bless this little child and give her an everlasting name to be named of all generations. And all the people responded, So be it, so be it. Amen. Joachim also presented her to the high priest, who blessed her, saying, God of infinite majesty, look down upon this little child and grant her a blessing supreme and beyond compare. Then her mother carried Mary into the holy place kept for her and gave her the breast, singing to the Lord this hymn, I will sing to the Lord my God, for he has visited me and taken away the reproach of my enemies. For the Lord has given me the fruit of his righteousness, at once simple and multiple in its operation. Who will now tell it to the sons of Reuben that Anna is a mother? Learn, learn, you twelve tribes of Israel, that Anna is a mother. Then she left the child in the holy place reserved for her and went out to serve the guests who rejoiced and praised the God of Israel. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, for ever present, filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save us all as good ones. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord is the kingdom, the Lord and the Lord be Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, annulling the curse and bestowing the blessing, abolishing death and granting us life everlasting. Come, all ye people, let us sing a song unto Christ God who divided the sea and made a way for the people which he had brought up out of the bondage of Egypt, for he is glorified. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Come, O you faithful, as we rejoice in the Divine Spirit, let us honor with him the ever-Virgin Maiden, who is come forth today from a barren woman for the salvation of mortals. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O modest one, mother and handmaid of Christ God, thou recovery of the ancient blessedness for the race of man. Thee do we all glorify with him, as is me. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Today the bridge of life is born, through whom mortals have found their restoration from the fall into Hades, and with him they glorify Christ, the giver of love. Make us steadfast in thee, O Lord, who by the tree has slain sin, and plant thy fear in the hearts of us who hymn thee. 
Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Living blamelessly before God, the godly minded Joachim and Anna conceived the salvation of all as the parents of her who gave birth to our Creator and God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord who wells forth life unto all from a barren woman brought forth a virgin into whom he deigned to enter, keeping her incorrupt of the childbirth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Today, let us, Lord Mary, on us fruit, who conceived the life-bearing cluster, praising her as the third tokos, the protection and the help of all. Now the Virgin Mary, am the very mother of our God, has shone forth on us today as a resplendent cloud of light, and from the righteous she cometh forth for our glory. Now Adam is no more contemned and under ban, Eve is freed from bonds and set at liberty, and for this cause we shout with boldness, crying to her who alone is pure. Thy birth proclaims joy and great gladness to the ends of the whole world. I have heard, O Lord, the report of thy dispensation, and I have glorified thee, O only friend of man. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. We sing thy praise, O Lord, who gave her, that gave thee birth as a haven of salvation unto all the faithful. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Bride of God, Christ, show thee forth to all as the boast and strength of those to whom thy mystery with faith. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Redeemed from our failings by thy supplications, O Lady who knows not word, Lord, we all thankfully call thee blessed. O thou who hast dispersed the shadowy mist of dark sayings, and hast illuminated the hearts of the faithful with the fulfillment of thy truth through this child of God, guide us also by thy light, O Christ. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O you people, let us praise the cause of all, who is the cause of his own becoming like unto us. The prophets, when they were vouchsafed to see him in figures, rejoiced, reaping the fruit of his manifest salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The budding of the droid of road revealed to Israel the election of the priest and now the all-glorious babe of a barren woman marvelously shows forth the splendor of her power. To the master from the monster, Jonas cried, Lead me up from the depths of Hades, I pray, that with a voice of praise and in the spirit of truth I may offer sacrifice to thee as my deliverer. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. In the affliction of the barrenness, the godly-minded begetters of God's mother cried unto the Lord, and they conceived her for the common salvation and boast for generations of generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The godly-minded begetters of God's mother received a heavenly gift worthy of God, a chariot higher than the very cherubim, her who bear the word and the creator. Joachim and Anna were freed from the reproach of childlessness, and Adam and Eve from the corruption of death, O Immaculate One, by thy holy nativity, which thy people redeemed from the guilt of offences, celebrate by crying to thee. The barren woman giveth birth to the Theotokos, the nourisher of our life. Joachim and Anna's prayer and sighing at their barrenness and childlessness is accepted, and is come unto the ears of the Lord, and they have brought forth a life-bearing fruit for the world, he made his prayer in the mountain while she bare her approach in the garden. But with joy the barren woman gives birth to the Theotokos, the nourisher of our life. The nourisher of our life. 
the bush on the mountain burnt by fire, and the Chaldean furnace cool with dew, prefigured thee plainly, O Bride of God. For thou didst receive in thy material womb the immaterial God, and was not consumed. Wherefore we cry unto him that was born of thee, Blessed is the God of our fathers. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. In time past, when the lawgiver was unable to understand thy great mystery and its immaterial manifestations, O oh, Holy Lady, he was instructed through symbols not to think in an earthly way. Wherefore, astonished at the marvel, he cried, Blessed is the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The divine choir divinely foretold of thee as a mountain, a heavenly gate, and a spiritual ladder. For out of thee was hewn a stone, not cut by hand of man. And they called thee a gate through which passed the Lord of wonders, even the God of our Father. In the furnace of the children long ago thou didst prefigure thy mother, O Lord. For the likeness delivered them from the fire as they walked amidst it unconsumed. We praise her who has been manifested by thee today unto the ends of the world, and we supremely exalt her unto all the ages. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. The foreordained tabernacle of our reconciliation with God now begins to be. She who will bear the word for our sakes, made manifest in the grossness of the flesh. We whom he brought out of nothing into being, praise him and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The transformation of barrenness has undone the world's barrenness of good things, and the marvel openly intimated Christ coming among mortals. We whom he brought out of nothing into being, Praise him and exalt him unto all the ages. Magnify, O oh my soul, the most glorious nativity of the Theotokos. O thou who from thy virginal loins ineffably lends a body into the luminary that was before the sun, even God, who has dawned upon us and dwelled amongst us in the body, O blessed and all-pure Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Magnify, O my soul, the most glorious nativity of the Theotokos. He that made water to gush from the cloven rock for the disobedient people, to our joy grants thee to the obedient nations as a fruit of barren loins. As he is meet, O Immaculate Mother of God, thee do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Magnify, O my soul, the most glorious nativity of the Theotokos. O oh, abrogation of the harsh ancient sentence, uprighting of our first mother, cause of God's kinship with our race, and bridge unto the Creator, O Theotokos, thee do we magnify. The ends of earth rejoice today upon thy birth, O blameless maid. O Mary, God's hallowed mother, and bride who knowest not wedlock, here on is loose the sorrowful reproach and pain of childlessness, by which thy parents once were held. Loosed is the curse in childbearing that fell on Eve our first mother. Most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. 
Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, the prayers of our most holy lady, the third Tokos and ever Virgin Mary, whose holy nativity we celebrate this day. With the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy brethren Rufus and Rufianus, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of Saint Severus, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of Saint Artemidorus, who was perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of our father among the Saint Sophronius, the Bishop of Achtalia in Georgia. With the prayers of the holy new martyr Athanasius, who was perfected in martyrdom in Thessalonica by hanging in 1774. With the prayers of our father among the saints Corbinian, the first bishop of Fresigen, Bavaria. With the prayers of our righteous father Arsenius of Konovets. With the prayers of our righteous father Serapion of Pskov. With the prayers of our righteous father Lucian of Alexandrov. With the prayers of the holy new hieromartyr Serapion, the priest of Novo Alexandrov, who was slain by the atheist in 1918. With the prayers of the holy new martyr Alexander, the Jew who was slain by the atheist for his belief in Christ in 1930. With the prayers of St. Kinfar of Wales, St. Aina and Ethelburga, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.